Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a very dewy, glossy, high shine makeup look and I am going to recreate the whole glass skin look. Now this is something that's been um, kind of floating around the internet for a while and I don't think this is necessarily a new thing but I think it's just gotten a lot of attention recently so if you don't know what glass skin it is a very high shine glossy skin look that mimics the appearance of glass so it's very reflective it's very shiny and me personally because I have dry skin I am absolutely like drawn to this kind of makeup look because my skin is so dry so I always want my skin to look like an oil slick so I recreated this using my own products and just things that I think give the skin the most glass like effect so I'm gonna really quickly show you a photo of this whole glass skin trend so you can kind of see what I'm talking about so I don't know if you can see the glossiness on her skin, but that's kind of the vibe that we're going for. So before we get into the tutorial, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have, have you join my channel. Um, I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I do skincare videos, makeup videos. So you'll definitely be able to find anything beauty related here on my channel. And then next to the subscribe button is a little notification bell. If you click on that, you'll be notified every time that I post a new video. So if you want to see how I got this very dewy, glossy, high shine, beautiful skin look, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so we're just going to dive right in. Um, I've already cleansed my skin. Always make sure that your skin is nice and clean and prepped for the makeup look, especially this one to achieve that really dewy glass skin type of effect. You always want to make sure that you do your skincare. You could even do like a hydrating mask or something like that to just really boost the moisture and the hydration in your skin. So I've just cleansed my skin. I'm going to go in with a little bit of this Thayer's Witch Hazel uh, Let's see, Rose Petal Aloe Vera, Aloe Vera uh, Facial Mist. This is the toner that I use every single day after I cleanse my skin. So I'm just going to douse my face in this. All right, and then while that is drying, I'm going to go in with a little bit of lip balm. This is the Tony Moly uh, Ferment Snail Treatment Lip Balm. I really like this. You obviously can use whatever lip balm you prefer. But we just want to make sure our lips are as hydrated as possible and they look nice and plump and juicy and um, they're nice and moisturized for any lip products that we apply on top. Alright, and then I'm going to go in with my daily moisturizer which is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. Love this stuff. Whatever your everyday moisturizer is, apply that. You don't have to apply these exact products. Um, I haven't been showing my full skincare before I do makeup and I think um, a lot of people just don't think about the skincare aspect of the makeup look but skincare really is a part of the makeup tutorial so I'm going to try and incorporate it a little bit more because um, I know a lot of people don't show their skincare on their videos because it is time consuming and it's not the you know the fun part but I just think skincare is so important so I'm going to be better about um, showing y'all what skincare I'm applying before I do my makeup. And then I'm going to apply a little bit of my CeraVe Eye Repair Cream just to really hydrate the under eyes. Make sure they're nice and prepped for concealer. So I always like to let my skincare products really sink into my skin, make sure that they're fully absorbed before going straight into makeup. If you just start going into makeup, your skincare hasn't been able to fully be absorbed into your skin, so it's not going to be as effective. So just give yourself a little bit of time, maybe go make yourself something to drink, or watch a YouTube video, and then start your makeup. Alright, so for primer today, I'm going in with the Maybelline Master Prime Hydrating Primer. This is the only one I'm using today. Um, when I show you my little foundation concoction that I'm doing, um, it'll make sense why this is the only one I'm using. Usually I like to do a really dewy, luminous, glowy base, but my foundation concoction is going to be a little bit heavier than normal and extremely hydrating. 
So I just find that adding in um, any kind of glowy base underneath is just going to make my skin look a little bit too oily. Um, so I'm going to skip that today. I'm just going to apply a little bit of this primer around my nose where I tend to get really dry. And this is where I find that my foundation starts to separate and uh, it doesn't look as good as the time goes on. So this is the area that I focus this primer on. So I have been wanting to do a tutorial on this for such a long time, but I could never really find the right products that I felt would be the most effective in this type of makeup look. And if you've never heard of glass skin, it's basically just giving your skin the effect that it looks like glass. It's like light is reflecting off of your skin. It has that really shiny, glossy finish to it. And, you know, this is going to depend on your skin type and what your skin needs are and what your skin looks like. So it's hard to really nail down a good routine or a good um, tutorial for this look because you, if you have a totally different skin type than me, then this these particular products may not work for you. But I'm just going to show you how I get this type of glass skin effect on my skin. I have normal to dry skin and very sensitive skin. So that just kind of gives you an indication as to um, why I'm using these certain products. So that if you have a certain skin type, this may work for you. So so this may not be for everybody, it's a very high shine, glossy, dewy, but not shimmery, not glittery. It's definitely more of a glossy finish to the skin, so this may not be for everybody. It may be too much for you, especially in the summer, you know, with all the oils and the sweat and everything. It just, it may be too much, um, but I just love the way it looks, and if you are wanting to try this out, I just wanted to show you how I achieve this um, type of effect on the skin, and it looks so, so nice. So I think I have finally found the perfect combination of products that is going to give my skin a little bit of coverage and also give it that really shiny glossy look so for foundation I'm gonna be mixing two products uh, I'm gonna be mixing the Wellita or Wellita I don't know exactly how you pronounce this um, but this is the skin food this is a highly highly rich thick moisturizer you can use this on your face you can use it all over your body you can use it as a lip balm you can use it for really really dry areas it's a really good multi-purpose kind of balmy uh, moisturizer kind of texture it's really really interesting and this is relatively new to me I've been wanting to try it for such a long time um, and then I finally just went and picked it up and I have not put it down since I use this at nighttime when um, I want to do like an overnight mask type of thing so because I have such dry skin I like to slather my face in this before I go to bed and then when I wake up my skin feels amazing it feels like baby skin it looks like baby skin I absolutely love this if you are oily you are probably going to despise this because it is so thick and heavy and rich um, this may be a good nighttime thing for you, but I don't think that this will work for you during the daytime or how I'm going to use it today. So because there is not a foundation that I have found or that I know of that applies like this and looks like this on the skin, what I'm going to be doing is using this as my base for my foundation. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. This is just my little... Uh, travel size that I have. I love this concealer and a little bit goes a long way. So originally I was going to take this and then mix a foundation in with it but then I just felt like the amount of foundation that I would have to add to get any kind of coverage it just it wasn't really working for me consistency wise. So then I was thinking well I need something super super pigmented that's going to pack a punch that I can apply to my skin food to give it the pigment that I want but not I'm not having to apply so much product to the skin food that this is not really able to give me the glass skin effect that I'm looking for. So that's why I'm going for a concealer and man this combination is so gorgeous on the skin. It looks so good. If you have dry dry skin or really mature skin 
I think you will love this. So with this stuff, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit to the back of my hand. I'm gonna start with that much, but you can just see how thick it is. Like it's not moving. This stuff is super, super thick. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of my concealer, not too much. All right, so that's what the little concoction looks like definitely more skin food than concealer so it's not equal parts or anything so what I do is I'm just going to mix this on the back of my hand and as you can see I'm just kind of making my own little tinted moisturizer but using a concealer is going to give you that nice amount of coverage without having to add a ton of product to your moisturizer so um, you know rather than using a foundation I would recommend trying trying to use a concealer that way you don't have to use as much product and then you're really letting the moisturizer base um, really shine and show through you're not having to cake it down with a ton of uh, makeup and foundation so that's what it looks like right now that looks pretty good to me now I was playing around with this formula trying to figure out the best way that it applies and because the skin food is so so thick it's a little bit hard to use my fingers and get a really nice seamless finish on the skin I found that when I applied it with my fingers it um, looked a little bit more streaky than I would like so I'm actually going to be using a dampened sponge this moisturizer is oil based so I was a little bit nervous about using a damp sponge because this does have water in it so I was thinking well this is probably going to make the moisturizer break up funny because oil and water don't mix but it actually applies beautifully I did not have any problems uh, applying this it looked beautiful on my skin and I didn't have any problems with it breaking up or not mixing well together so I find that this is the best way to apply this product so I'm just gonna go straight into my hand you only need the tiniest bit a little bit's going to go a long way and then I'm just going to start blending this across my skin. Alright, so that's just a very, very thin, light layer. But as you can see, I have the coverage, yet my skin still looks like skin. Now this may be way too glossy and dewy for a lot of you, and that's totally fine. You don't have to use this particular moisturizer, um, but I love the way this looks, and I find that this truly gives me that glass skin type of look. So I'm gonna build this up just a little bit with whatever's remaining on my hand, and um, see if I can kind of cover up a little bit more of my uh, discoloration and some of these blemishes. But, I mean, look at that. It's nothing shimmery. It's nothing metallic. It just looks like your skin is just drinking up a ton of water. Alright, so that is plenty of coverage for me. I'm very happy with this. So I'm going to move on to a little bit of concealer. Um, there's this new brand at CVS, yeah, CVS called Ruby Kisses. And it's um, by the brand Kiss, which makes lashes and I think they do a lot of nail products. Um, but now they have this makeup line at uh, CVS, so I wanted to try out their concealers. I got one in the shade Peach and then the other one in the shade Light Tan, so I'm gonna use this one as a little bit of an under eye corrector, and then I'm gonna use this one as an actual under eye concealer. So I have not um, tried these on my eyes yet, I just kinda swatched them on my hand. So we'll just kinda see how this works but I'm just applying the peach shade right in this inner corner where I have the most darkness and it's really just going to brighten up the under eye in relation to the LA girl one that I absolutely love this one is a little bit lighter in color so if you're more fair um, you may like this one better than the LA Girl one because the LA Girl one is pretty uh, peachy. It's pretty dark. Oh, and I didn't mention, so this is called the C&C &C Concealer. So it's the con it says Contour Correct Conceal. So um, I guess you can use like a deeper shade to contour with. Um, so I'm going to go in with the shade Light Tan. And I'm going to apply this to my under eye. Now 
Now I have a different concealer that I'm going to use for the rest of my face, so I'm only going to be using this under my eye. And then another product that I've been testing out is the number 7 Stay Perfect uh, blemish cover concealer. It looks like this. It's in a little stick. I've actually, I don't think I've ever owned a concealer in a stick form. So um, I love the brand number seven. Um, they have some really, really great products. And they actually had testers at my local Walgreens. So I tested this concealer on my hand and it felt so nice on the skin. It's definitely more of a dry formula. So I think this will be really good for covering up blemishes or just kind of spot concealing on the face. So I'm just going to spot conceal some areas where I need just a tiny bit more coverage but I don't want to do too much because I want my skin to look like skin and then I'm just going to go in with my sponge and blend that out. Alright, so I'm going to do a little bit of a cream blush today, and I'm going to be trying out this Peripera Velvet Cheek in the shade Rosy Flush. I've used this once on my cheeks, but I haven't worn it all day long. It's a cream, but once you apply it and blend it into your skin, it definitely uh, turns into that more powdery finish. So I'm going to try this out today. It's a really pretty color. It looks a little bit bright, but um, I think this is going to be... Perfect. So I'm just going to apply this right to the apples of my cheeks. And then just blend it backwards. That's really pretty. It's a. Uh, I think my lights are kind of washing it out a little bit so it doesn't look as dark on camera, but you can definitely see it in person. Give me that nice, healthy, rosy flush. Very pretty. And it's really easy to use. It blends out really nicely. I actually um, found this blush. It's a Korean brand, um, Peripera. Um, they have a bunch of really cool products. But um, uh, there was a store in my mall close to me, and it's called Riley Rose. And I never heard of it before. It's a brand new store. And I went in there, and they have the coolest stuff in there. It's a cosmetics store. Um, they have a ton of skincare, and then they have a bunch of like odds and ends, like stuff for your phone and like hair accessories and um, a little bit of home decor. But um, they have a bunch of really cool brands. They had a bunch of K-Beauty brands. They had brands like Girlactic, which is where I got that dewy skin gloss that I always use. Um, they had Beauty Bakery. Um, they had Laura Lee Los Angeles. Um, they had Winky Lux, which is, they, I know they sell some of their stuff in Ulta, but they just had a bunch of kind of off brands that you can't, you know, they're not easily accessible. So it was really cool being able to test out a bunch of different brands that I was not as familiar with. So I'm definitely going to be testing out some more products. I'll have to make another trip out there. So anyway, long story short, uh, the store Riley Rose is really cool and they had a bunch of kind of oddball brands that I'm not as familiar with and I never get to try. So um, y'all should see if you have one local to you because uh, it's a really cool store. Alright, so even though we want that glass skin uh, look, we still want to set down certain areas uh, to prevent creasing and we don't want our makeup to just melt off. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of my Ben Nye Neutral Set Colorless Powder. Love this stuff. It's so lightweight. It doesn't look heavy or drying on the face. And I'm going to use this to very, very lightly set my under eye because I definitely crease under there. And since I used the skin food, I definitely want to make sure that I set things down because it's very, very rich and emollient and I just can see this totally sliding off my face throughout the day. It looks really good right now, and but I just don't think it's going to last if I don't set it down. So for the most part, I'm going to leave my skin as is, but I'm just going to set the areas... Uh, where I crease and also areas where I tend to get kind of oily throughout the day So just kind of right along my t-zone is where I'm going to concentrate the majority of the powder and I like to use a small brush like this Because it's not going to deposit too much product And it just kind of pinpoints those areas where you need the powder 
Alright, and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of highlight, and I'm actually not going to be using a cream highlight today. I know I've been doing that a lot lately, but I just find that my skin is so uh, dewy right now that I'm just going to use a little bit of powder highlight. This will also help set down the skin a little bit as well. So I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight in the shade Molten Rose Gold. I'm going to take it on a large fluffy brush like this. This has been my favorite way to apply powder highlight powder highlighter recently, um, taking a larger kind of really fluffy brush like this and really buffing the highlighter into the skin. I just think it looks so gorgeous and a lot more natural. So I'm just going to focus my highlighter right in this little C pocket right here, right above the brow, and then to any areas where I just want um, my skin to have a little bit more shine. All right, so for just a little bit of bronzer, I'm gonna go in with Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. Been using this basically every single time I do makeup. I love this, and it's so funny because when I first tried it out, I hated this bronzer, and now I love it so much. So I'm gonna take it on a really fluffy duo fiber brush like this. I like brushes like this because they have a lot of movement. They're not going to pick up too much product, and they're not gonna to deposit too much product. So this is perfect for bronzer um, because it's just going to make the bronzer look the most natural. So I'm not applying too much. I'm just applying, whoa, applying it a little bit to my cheekbones just to give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm just going to very slowly, oh, that highlighter brush I used is shedding all over me. Uh, I'm going to bring it up to my forehead. All right, so get, that just gave the skin just a little bit more color. It's not looking so one-dimensional. Telling you, this skin food is so um, like heavy and um, it's still a little bit tacky. So my all my hair is sticking to my face right now. Um, okay, so I think I'm gonna leave the skin as is. I really, really like the way it looks. It just looks so glossy and dewy. Um, again, this may be too much for you, but just to get that really pretty, true glass skin look, you kind of have to look borderline oily, greasy. So it's just kind of finding that um, balance between, you know, greasy and just dewy, glossy. So, and then for the brows, I'm going in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Fiber volumizer gel. I'm just going to run this through my brows. All right, and then I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Total Temptations Brow Definer. And I'm just going to very, very lightly just fill in any gaps. Um, but I want my brows to look really natural today, so I don't want to do too much with them. Alright, so I barely did anything with the brow pencil. I just kind of did a few little strokes in each brow. And then I'm going to go back in with my brow gel. And then for the eyes, it's just going to be super, super easy. I was trying to find the most glossy eye color that I could find that wasn't a gloss and it um, was a little bit more practical. So I'm going to go in with Lunch Money by ColourPop. This is their Super Shock Cheek. Um, and I'm just going to take a little bit of this on my finger. And I'm really going to blend this all over my eyelid. I almost, I basically want it to look like there's nothing on my eyelids. And I just want it to look like they're super glossy and dewy but not like I applied anything I don't want it to look obvious at all so if you just really blend it and really push it into the skin it's going to give you that more natural look you could even take a little bit of your moisturizer and run that on your eyelids just to give it a shiny finish that would work as well yeah, so it just gives the lids a little bit of shine so that it catches the light. 
and they look really healthy but um, it doesn't look like you really applied any eyeshadows or that it was intentional. All right, and then really quickly, I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply my L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is a brand new tube. I'd been using my other one for way too long. It was way done. So I finally got a new one yesterday. So I'm just going to apply this to my upper lashes. Alright, so I almost, while I was doing my mascara, I just realized I never set my face. And I think it's just because I only use a tiny bit of powder. So I guess technically you don't have to do this step. But I'm just going to do it really quickly just to show you. So I'm going to go in with that same Thayer's uh, Rose Petal Facial Mist. Any kind of facial mist that you prefer, MAC Fix Plus. The Heritage Store Rose Water and Glycerin Spray is one of my favorites. I'm actually currently out of it right now. And I went to go get it at Sprouts the other day and they didn't have it either so um, I'm just gonna be using this guy this is really good um, I don't think let's see okay so this actually does have glycerin in it so I'm just gonna use this today and cover my eyes so that my mascara doesn't transfer and then what I like to do is go in with my sponge and just press out any little droplets and then I'm also gonna go back in with a little bit of my cream blush just a tiny bit. Apply a little bit more just right here to the center of my cheeks. Just applying blush just right here to the center of your cheeks, it seriously just makes you look so young and just healthy and like you've been running and playing outside. It just gives you the most gorgeous flush. Okay, and for the lip, I'm actually going to be trying out a new product. I've never applied this to my lips before. I swatched it on my hand in store, but I haven't actually applied it to my lips. So this is the Soap & Glory Pout Standing Lip Contouring Crayon. So it's a double-ended double lip contouring crayon. It's got a matte kind of lip liner side on one side and then it's got the actual lip color on the other and the formula of the lip color is so creamy um, it doesn't look creamy because it's a standard kind of wood pencil type of packaging but the formula is so good on this it feels like a really creamy lipstick I'm going to oh geez oh and this is in the shade front page nudes this was the most nude shade out of all of the other shades but they had a really nice shade selection so if this really works out, I might go get some more. But I'm going to go in with the matte liner side and just line my lips. Alright, so that was the easiest lip liner to apply. It reminds me a lot of the L'Oreal, uh, what are those, like the matte lip liners. However, it's not as, it's creamy, but it's not so creamy that you it kind of breaks as you're applying it. That is so, so nice. So now I'm going to go in with the shine side and fill in my lips. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. It's crazy because it's a wood pencil, but it applies just like a really creamy lipstick. All right, guys, so that completes this video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. And again, this is not going to be for everybody, especially if you have oily skin. This is going to be a little bit more difficult. And usually if you have oily skin, you're trying to mattify your skin rather than accentuate the oiliness. But I just thought this would be a fun video to do. I absolutely love the look of glass skin. It may not be the most practical, but it looks beautiful in photographs. And in person right now, my skin looks so nice. And so if you just want to kind 
kind of change up things a little bit in your routine and do something different with your foundation just to give you your skin a little bit of a different effect. I think this is so much fun. It makes your skin look young and healthy and supple and just juicy. So I thought this was a lot of fun. And maybe this will just inspire you to try making your own tinted moisturizer at home with your favorite moisturizer, daily facial lotion. Um, anything like that. I love the way my skin looks. So even if I'm not going for the whole glass skin look, I'm definitely going to be using um, the foundation concoction that I used today. I absolutely love this. This looks so nice on the skin. Um, so I'm really happy about that. I hope y'all are having a blessed week and I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye guys.